Hello and welcome to New Parents in Training. So today I got this Jeep Deluxe Wagoner Stroller Wagon. So I'm going to review this today and uh, we're going to go over the pros and cons of this particular product. Now one of the reasons why we got this Jeep Wagoner is we have had some really good experience with Jeep products for kids before. So we were thinking since our family is growing, we should try out their wagon as well. Now, this is a really good product, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's for everyone, which I'm going to go into that in a little bit. Now, let's talk about the installation process. Right out of the box, this whole thing is quite bulky, but it's really easy to assemble. You just have to unhook one of the latch on the side and the whole wagon will expand out. Once you have done so, you just need to follow the instruction to put on the wheels and the handlebars. I would say to assemble this wagon is relatively straightforward and easy. I believe I actually spent more time to put on the accessory than assemble the main body of the wagon itself. Now once you have set up the wagon, you can also attach the car seat adapter. First, you have to attach the car seat support bar into the center of the wagon frame. Then you have to attach the car seat adapter housing. One will be in the center where the car seat support bar tube is. And the second one need to be attached to the rear of the wagon frame. Both housing need to be facing inward. Then you can set the car seat adapter on top of the housing. All right, so let's talk about some of the key feature with this wagon. The maximum weight that this wagon can carry is 110 pounds. Let that be if you have like two kids or a bunch of other stuff that you have to carry. Just make sure you don't put more than 110 pounds on top of it. Currently we have one toddler and one infant. So the toddler can be able to sit inside the wagon and with the car seat adapter, we can just remove the car seat and put it on top of the wagon itself. Now, if you just want to transport the kids, this is really simple. You just unfold and put the kids in and put a car seat on top. They do provide you with a canopy. Now, if you want to set up the canopy on top of the wagon, make sure you do it after you have unfolded the wagon because the canopy cannot be folded up with the wagon itself. Now, the canopy does provide you with sunscreen. You can lower them from the side of the canopy. There are two mosquito nets on each end of the canopy. It doesn't really block any bugs to go inside the wagon, but it does let air to travel through. So if it's in the hot summer, if you lower the sunscreen, you can at least have the air go through front and the rear of the wagon. Uh, I don't really see it to be able to block out any of the bugs because on the side where the handle is, there's a big gap. So bugs can definitely go in. The rear wheels are the big ones. They cannot turn. The front is where the smaller wheels are. They can turn. There are latches on the front wheel where you can actually lock it. If you lock it, the wheels cannot turn. It can only go straight. If you unlock it, then the wheels can swirl. And also it provides you with three brakes, one for each of the front wheel. The, for the rear wheel, you have a one brake that you can step on and step off. This wagon has two handlebars, one in the front, one in the rear. Both of them allow you to adjust the height of it so you can adjust according to your own preference. I would suggest if you're going to put the wagon in your car, make sure you lower the handlebar first because this wagon is quite large. If you don't lower the handlebar, it might not go in. Now, because it has handlebar in the rear and also in the front, it allows you to push the wagon from the back or you can pull the wagon from the front. It makes maneuvering this wagon extremely easy, even though this wagon is quite large. In addition to the storage in the front and the rear of the wagon, they also provide you with a cooler bag and also a parent organizer. Now, both of this, you can attach to the side of the wagon to give you more storage unit if you do desire. There's also a cup holder as well. So those are some of the key features that this wagon provides. Now let me talk about what we like and dislike about this wagon. Now first, let's talk about the likes. This wagon is big. You can put a lot of stuff in it. The first thing you're going to notice is there are a whole lot of storage in this wagon. Now the front has storage unit, the back has it, and also they provide you with a cooler bag and the organizer. Now if you do desire to have more, you can also purchase additional accessory to go on the side of the wagon. So this thing can hold a lot of stuff. Secondly, 
even though this wagon is quite large, but it's really easy to maneuver. So when I'm doing turns, going up the hill, going down the hill, I would imagine to pushing this heavy wagon would be a hassle, but it was not really a, that big of issue, even when I'm wearing a flip-flop. The third thing I really like about it is really easy to fold it back up. Now, in order for you to fold it back up, you do need to remove everything on the side of the wagon or on the top, the canopy. So once you have removed everything and then locate the handle in the center of the wagon and just pull it up and the whole wagon will just fold up by itself and make sure that the latch is latched on on the side, then there you go. So the wagon is really easy to unfold and fold it back up. All right, so let's talk about the dislikes. Now I have mentioned numerous times in the video that this wagon is large. Now being large is a good thing if you have to haul a lot of stuff, but at the same time, this wagon is just too large. This wagon will not fit into any compact car or sedan. It can only go into SUV or minivans. So if you have only small cars or compact car or even sedan at home, this wagon, you can just skip it. It will not fit into your car. Even though we have an SUV, once this wagon is into the trunk, there's no more space for us to put anything else in the trunk. So it takes up way too much space. Now, the second thing that I don't like about it, not only this thing is big, but also heavy. So the wagon itself comes in at 35 pounds. Now, typically 35 pounds is not that bad for an adult to lift up, but because the sheer size of it, it makes it difficult for a person to put inside a trunk. The third thing that I didn't like about it is how the attachment had to be detached before you can fold up the wagon. So it makes very troublesome at times when you're in a hurry. If you have a lot of stuff that's with the wagon, such as the canopy, all the side cooler and the storage unit, you have to take them all out before you can fold up the wagon. So the deal breaker for us is just the sheer size of how big this wagon is. And once we put inside the trunk, there's no more space for us to put anything else in there. In conclusion, who is this wagon for, right? Not everyone is going to be able to use this wagon. Now, however, if you are into camping, if you want to take your kids to theme parks or to a long day trip, then this might be something that you should look into because how much stuff that this wagon can haul. Aside from that, I really don't see any point of getting this wagon. So anyway, this is my review of the Jeep wagon. If you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.